The morning routine that I'm about to show you is optimized to destroy your anxiety and I've been struggling with anxiety for over eight years and every single day when I wake up I experience a panic attack, my heart starts racing really fast, I get these negative thoughts, I can't stop thinking, my you know I feel like a really bad feeling in my gut and I use all of my energy to get out of bed. It was a very big struggle and to be honest every single day that I woke up I was just hoping for it to end but it never did. It just got worse and worse over time, my stomach pain got worse and I just never really wanted to get out of bed. And after laying in bed for a couple of minutes trying to calm myself down, you know, trying to fight these negative thoughts, I eventually got up and went on with my day. And the anxiety stayed all day long. How I woke up in the morning determined how I'm going to feel all day long. If I woke up having a bad panic attack, I felt anxious all day long and I couldn't help it. If I woke up feeling like kind of refreshed and a bit less anxious, my day was fine. So I had to learn through the eight years of dealing with this to optimize my morning routine for anxiety so I can start each day fresh. And just close your eyes and imagine that you can, that you wake up in the morning and you don't experience anxiety. You feel amazing. You have these goals that you want to crush and you have the energy to get them, right? You're able to wake up every day with a smile on your face and you can attack the work and actually do what you want to do without having all of these fears and negative thoughts holding you back. That's what's possible if you have the right morning routine. And this is what I will be showing you right now. Now the first thing that I do when I wake up is I go to the bathroom, I brush my teeth and I take a cold shower. I've been taking cold showers for six months every single morning. It's the first thing that I do when I wake up because it instantly makes me feel awake and it puts me to the present moment. You know how you, when you have anxiety, you know, you have all of these racing negative thoughts and you can't really help. But to think about some stupid shit that you don't want to think about, right? When I used to wake up, I used to always overthink about school. I was thinking about like, what if people on the bus are going to look at me? What if I, you know, can't answer the question in the test and I was just like racing and you know, it was terrible. But as soon as I take a cold shower, I get snapped back into the present moment because it's painful. Taking a cold shower is painful. But after you're done and during the cold shower, you're present, right? I go into the bathroom, I turn on, the knob and I turn the knob all the way to cold and I just experience the pain. I instantly get snapped into the present moment. I don't have any thoughts in my mind. I'm just focused on the coldness of the water and on top of that it also reduces your cortisol levels and cortisol as you may know is a stress hormone in your body and honestly it kind of became addictive. I'm kind of addicted to taking cold showers and I notice that when I don't take a cold shower in the morning, I don't feel as good and energized and less anxious. So it's the first thing that I do every morning. And the second thing that I do after taking the cold shower is I drink a glass of water with magnesium, right? I don't know why this is helping me, but you can kind of imagine yourself, you know, when you have anxiety, you're always under pressure. Your body is always in fight or flight or freeze mode and you're constantly under tension, right? You're like clenching your fists, you know, you have like muscle soreness and your muscles are always like really tense and your body is using energy for that. Your body is using energy and minerals and the things inside of your food to fuel your body or, you know, to fuel the anxiety, right? The blood is shooting to your muscles, your heart starts to be very fast, your body is using resources. So one of the main resources that your body uses when you're anxious is things like magnesium and zinc and stuff like that. So I drink a glass of magnesium every single morning. It's the second thing that I do. And after I do it, I already feel a bit relaxed, right? First of all, because I'm drinking water and it's always good to stay hydrated. And second of all, because I'm getting my um, minerals and I'm getting my magnesium and that my body used throughout the day to fuel my anxiety. So I can counteract that and I feel less anxious. And the fourth thing that I do is I get some sunlight into my eyes. Now, you might have, to he might have heard this before, you might not believe in it, but it helps me. I just get outside, you know, stay on the balcony for like three to five minutes and I just get sunlight into my eyes. First of all, it like also reduces your anxiety because viewing sunlight produces hormones and, and chemicals inside of your body that fight against stress and anxiety, which is amazing, right? You want to reduce your anxiety, then take the step seriously. And on top of that, it's just amazing to get some fresh air in. You know how in the morning you produce a lot of serotonin to wake up, which is kind of like a stress hormone, but also like a feel-good hormone. But for anxious people, it can be quite stressful to get a lot of serotonin. That's like one of the reasons why we even get the morning anxiety. And at night, your body's producing melatonin, which is a sleep hormone. And by viewing sunlight in the morning, your body clock gets regulated and it gets used to, okay, I woke up, 
I will produce serotonin. I woke up, you know, my body starts to run right. And in the evening, when there's no sun, I will produce melatonin so I can fall asleep. So by viewing sun in the morning, you can fall asleep better. And it also enhances your sleep quality, which is another like very crucial point for managing your anxiety, sleeping enough. And the fifth thing that I do is a gratitude journal, right? I just have a notes app on my phone. You can use anything. You can use Notion. You can use um, the notes app. You can whatever you want, right? One note or, you know, maybe of a Samsung, you can just write down three things that you're grateful for. I also like to do it on like just paper and pen. I can actually show you that I do it every single day. I have this journal and I just write down every single day what I'm grateful for. I also use it for a bunch of other things like journaling about my feelings and every single day I do this since three years now. Why am I doing it? First of all, when you're anxious, you're stuck in your head and you have all of these negative racing thoughts, right? You're like, you kind of think that your life is falling apart for no reason. You don't really know how to control everything. And just journaling about three positive things, you tell your mind, okay, not everything is as bad as you make it seem. It's just a thought. The thought doesn't define me. It doesn't define who I am. I don't have to act on the thought. And if you tell it, if you write down or you tell to yourself, like, I'm grateful for taking a cold shower this morning. I am grateful that I can see my girlfriend later. I'm grateful for recording a video and being productive and working towards my goals. You kind of see and you shift your perspective from negative racing thoughts, oh my god, everything's gonna go bad, everything's terrible, I suck, to acknowledging the positive stuff, which is a very hard thing when you're feeling anxious. You can probably relate to this, right? And it's not even your fault. It's not your fault. When you feel anxious, you get negative thoughts. And you can counteract that by gratitude journaling. But then I feel quite good already, you know, I have took my cold shower, I viewed sunlight, I got my magnesium in, I gratitude journal, I did a couple of good habits, and then I'm ready to work or go to school. And that's my morning routine. I've optimized this over the last two to three years, perfectly suited to me. And if you can relate to me and my anxiety and, you know, worrying all of the time, feeling anxious all of the time, maybe you also have a generalized anxiety disorder like me, this morning routine can seriously help you. And I want you to take this stuff that I said very seriously, if you actually serious about improving your anxiety and mental health as a whole because your mental health and anxiety is like the most important thing that you have you know this quote by a senator who's like a stoic stoic we suffer more in imagination than in reality and if you're anxious you suffer all of the time in, in imagination it doesn't matter how beautiful the world is you're suffering in your mind my reality now is not bad at all. I have a beautiful girlfriend. I'm working on my business. I've built some muscle and got a nice body. And I have a couple of friends. I'm doing good at school. I'm working every day. That is my reality. But in my imagination, I'm still an anxious, traumatized kid that got bullied when he was 10 years old. So we have to fight that. And the best way to do that is by starting in the morning with a good morning routine. And I promise you that if you do this, if you follow this for like two to four weeks, you will already see an improvement. It doesn't take that much to improve your mental health and to reduce your anxiety. A couple of good habits, a couple of, you know, strategies and tactics, and you can do it. And I manage to, and I'm not extraordinary. I'm not any different to you. I'm just a normal human being. I'm just a kid talking to a camera. And if I manage to do it, and I was really down bad, right? I was a porn addict. I was a video gamer. I was really, really down bad. I felt anxious every single second of the day. And I experienced panic attacks for over eight years. And I managed to do it, then you can too. So the most important belief about this morning routine is that it will help you, right? Your beliefs shape your reality. If you have negative beliefs, you're going to have a negative reality. And your beliefs also shape your actions. So start with your mind. Start to believe that you can change. And then apply the morning routine. Now, if you want to know more about this, click on the subscribe button right now. And also click on the first link in the description if you want to improve your mindset, productivity, and mental health. Thank you for watching. And please take action. And also remember to become he who can.